Hello and welcome to this how-to video from the Blue Prism University. My name is Leona Vandhoff and this is a short how-to video on attaching to an existing browser in Blue Prism version 7. In the next few minutes we will locate and compare Blue Prism version 7 system settings in relation to browser automation. We will summarize what the native messaging host is and what it does. We'll demonstrate what you will see in the task manager as a result of the native messaging host. And then finally, I will demonstrate building an attached process to an existing browser window. So what's changed? This is a screenshot of the Blue Prism system setting prior to version 7. Notice the bottom setting, the browser extension connectivity checkbox. This is the fix porch which allowed the Blue Prism browser extension to communicate with the browser. This is a screenshot of the Blue Prism system setting from version 7. Notice the bottom setting is now absent. This is because the native messaging host now handles this. The native messaging host is started behind the scenes when the browser is launched and its features will improve your spying ability within Blue Prism. The native messaging host improves and allows you to attach to an existing browser. I will show you a short demo. The ability to spy pop-ups without reattaching. You can launch new windows without reattaching. You can spy multiple browser windows at the same time. And you can use multiple Blue Prism instances to spy a single browser interface on the same machine. Version 7 with native messaging host is fully backward compatible with all previous versions and functionality. But with these improvements, there may be fewer occasions that now necessitate an attach built into your process. Attaching is the way of ensuring your process will communicate with the browser. If you are not attached, you'll be given a not connected error. And this is usually because the browser has not been connected or initialized and thus the process will not be able to interact with your browser. So having an attach at the start of each object page is a way of ensuring and guaranteeing that the process cannot fail. So when you are designing an object, it is a best practice and it's usually placed after a wait stage to check if an object is attached. Once you are assured that the page is attached, we can then proceed with building the desired interactions with the web page. Let's firstly see how the task manager looks using this native messaging host. I'm opening up a website in a browser, Chrome in this instance. And once the browser has been established, if I move down and open the task manager, I expand under Google Chrome and I can see the Blue Prism messaging host listed there. Blue Prism is now ready to start communicating between the browser and our Blue Prism object. Firstly, I'm going to create a new object and call it something meaningful. The best practice is to supply a more detailed description, but we'll move on and open our object. I'm going to launch the application monitor where I will accept the default application name. I'm going to select the browser based application as we're using Chrome in this case. And I'm going to select a browser that is already running. Enter a title of the target web page. Ensure you have the correct browser executable path. Enter the URL of the page. And move through the wizard. and finish. And the application modeler is now launched. You can check if the setup is correct by selecting attach at the bottom of the application modeler. The browser should be launched on the correct web page. Here is a sample of some standard attach logics. 
If we walk through the logic, you will see it tests if the browser is connected. If it is, it will then move down the process and complete any following steps. If false, it will take this branch, attach to the web page, and the next test would return true. The read step will test to see if the element is connected and update the data item with a flag result. The decision reads the data item value populated from the previous step and directs the process down either the yes or the no branch depending on the flag value. The navigate object used the spied browser as its element with an attach action. It is looking for a window title from the collection within the instance of Chrome. In the collection, we have specified the window title used in the attach action. In summary, Blue Prism version 7 allows for more functionality natively by way of the native messaging host. All browsers are supported, both new and old, and to give you some understanding as to what the best practices are for building an attach stage within your Blue Prism process. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to learn more about browser automation or any other Blue Prism feature or product, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Also, at the Blue Prism University community, you can get support from other members and participate in various discussions. Again, access this via the link in the description below.